Talk about the workouts of uh, Girl Daddy and okay. Sitting on Goats. They both work great today. Uh, Girl Daddy, I mean, she's just push button. Does everything. She's so fast, such a turn of foot. She showed it today. She finished strong, 59 and three. Galloped out in 12. I wish the race was next week. And the same thing Joe said when he got off. Um, as far as the big coat going, Sitting on Go, I mean, he's perfect. He's just a big, long striding horse and went a minute and change, and he's ready to roll. They're both two for two. Um, talk about the decision not to run them back, because you've gone both ways. You've chained them up to the Breeders' Cup. You've yeah. also run them back in the teal races at Keeneland. Well, they are both two for two, and they both ran fast in their stakes here at Churchill. And it was a little bit of a quick turnaround, I thought, to go and then try to jump right back in and, and uh, put you know, three races, three hard races back to back like that. So I thought the best chance to win a Breeders' Cup and to be champion is sit and wait go straight there. It was tough though. Races came up a, a little lighter than usual, shorter fields. It was tough, especially Girl Daddy, not to stick her in the house of bodies. And try for the grade one. Right, try for the grade one, but I figured try for champion instead of the grade one. Okay. What are the characteristics that you like in them when you're looking ahead to the Breeders' Cup? It'll be their first two turn race. Yeah, it'll be the first. They both ran a mile, but it will be the first two turn race, but they both act like they'll run forever. They got the turn of foot they need, and uh, they, they don't get tired, and that's that's a good sign. Does it seem strange um, that we've just come, been we're just through now with the triple crown, <laughs> and normally it would seem like a long ways to the Derby, but now it doesn't in the Oaks. It doesn't well, seem very long at all. The whole world's been upside down for a year. Hopefully, we do a reboot in 2021 and get back on schedule. So yeah, everything's strange this year. Going over to Keenly with nobody in the stands, being in Churchill with nobody here, the Derby with a very little crowd. Everything off off schedule. It's all been upside down, but hopefully we get it back next year. Girl Daddy, you that was Jason I assume you were talking to mm -hmm. on the phone. Now you told him something. Do you want to share what you told him? <laughs> no, I don't want to tell everybody. That's our private conversation. But I think it had something to do with if they bet, they'll cash. Yeah, they both broke their mains first time out at Ellis Park. These are horses that certainly would have fit well, at Saratoga. No, they're part of the Ellis Park two-year-old club. I mean, it's the best, become the best place in America to run your two-year-olds. And it used to be a lot easier than Saratoga, and I'm not so sure if it's not tougher now. You've been in this situation with an Ellis Park race, one of your two-year-olds, and thinking this is going to be the one, this is going to be the one. Had a, uh, if not this time, a really good second. You had the horse last year with Dennis's moment. Fell on his head leaving there. No, it's uh, one of these days when these two-year-old horses are going to win and be champion. And we'll talk about Ellis at the Eclipse Awards.